guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a fairly big haul on stuff that I've got all from different shops and stuff. Um, but first of all, I just want to say thank you to my friend Rhiannon and she owns Rhiannon's Nails in Torquay, Devon in the southwest where I live. And I just want to say thank you because I had an LVL eyelash lift and um, it's absolutely amazing. They're my own lashes, but obviously they've just permed them and stuff. So thank you Jodie as well at Rhiannon's Nails who've done them for me. I'm so happy. Thank you so, so much. Really impressed. So thank you guys. Do check out her Facebook page if you are local to have a look at what she does. So yeah, thank you so much. Now I am going to do a fairly big haul, like I say, from around the shops. I've got Home Bargains, Asda, a little bit from Tesco's and I'm just going to go straight into it now. So the first thing I brought were these. These are little individual packs of gingerbread men biscuits. Now I'm doing a um, make and do present for somebody, so these would come in handy for that uh, purpose. But yeah, they're little mini ones. You get two packs extra free from Home Bargains, and I think these were around a pound, so they were really, really good. So I think I brought two packs of those. Then I just picked up some of the mesh sponges. I love these, they're really, really good to clean your kitchen sinks and things like that. So pots and pans are really good for these as well. So I picked up those, and again, I think these were like 99p, so I picked up those. Then I picked up the Flash in the Christmassy scent, Clementine and Clove. This was amazing. My friend Claire, um, we opened up something that's had the same scent as this in there and it was amazing. So I picked up that. This is for the kitchen. It cuts grease. So I'll give that a try. Then I'll just put the bag here. I picked up this such a cute little... Um, jelly marshmallowy lollipop thingy for my niece for her Christmas stocking and it's got a little Santa gingerbread man stocking and a penguin and I think this was like 59p I couldn't believe the price so I picked up one of those to put in her stocking then I've already used these but I picked up some batteries for some fairy lights and stuff so I picked those up I also got the steel, oh no, I can't say this word, scour, scours, I can't say it, but these steel sponge things, so I picked those up, good for pots and pans as well, so I got those. Then more to the fun things, I saw these on somebody's Facebook and I had to grab them, they are the Nutcracker 20 charity Christmas cards. 99p i absolutely adore these as you all know i love nutcrackers so i got those for 99p and i just love them not like i need any christmas cards i've got loads already but i fell in love with these so i had to get these when we saw them in store then i want to do some like christmas baking so i picked up the christmas cupcake kits yeah that's right 24 cupcake cases uh, 24 large, 24 small and 24 picks and they've got little elves on and that is a picture of what they will look like if my cakes turn out okay. So I picked that up and again under a pound. Then I picked up these, I get these every time me and my friend have a joke about it because she always says have you picked up your um, Chinese crackers? So these are like rice thins. These are in sour cream and onion. These are amazing. And again, way under a pound. So I grabbed those. Then I've just picked up a bog standard toilet cling cleaner thing. So I got one of those. I picked these up as well. Some little Christmassy cake boxes. I think these were 99p. Each box holds four. So I thought that was really, really good to hand out to people. So I got those. Then I just picked up some vitamin C like Barocca. You put in your drink and it fizzes up and you drink it. So I picked up those tablets. And then I got these cute little gingerbread Wickford and Co candle votives. These again under a pound. I think they were actually like 
were they three for two pound or three for a pound or something? So yeah, I picked up these and as you all know, I loved the large gingerbread candle that I bought from there last time. And I know this scent always sells out. I missed out last year. So I just picked up a few of these just to put in little votive holders if I couldn't get um, any more large jars. But <laughs> I will show you. I did manage to pick up another one in the end, but I could use those to put in like people's presents and things for Christmas. But yeah, I picked up another large jar. I'm about halfway through my other one and I adore this scent so much. And also I just thought, by the way, I brought last time as well, the reed diffuser in this. Absolutely fantastic. I think the reed diffuser was like 2 dollars and it's amazing. It's so strong. My house smells all like um, biscuity and like a bit of winter spice. And I highly recommend getting this gingerbread candle, but in the um, reed diffuser because it is just amazing. So I picked up that one as well, 2 dollars Then what else did I get from there? I always, always stock up on the black bin bags from there. You get in this 50, it's a massive thing. And these are thick bin bags. I think they're 2 dollars They are a bit more expensive, but they are thicker. You don't put something in it and it just splits. These are really, really good. So I just stocked up on these for over the Christmas period because I don't know if I'm going to go back there before Christmas now. So I just picked up another pack while I was in there. And I saw on Mrs. Hinch, because I love Mrs. Hinch, on her Instagram, the Astonish Mould and Mildew Blaster. So I thought I'd use that for my bathroom in between the grout and stuff. So I picked up that for 99p. Then, as well as the flash spray, I also got the honey and, I uh, no, the clementine and clove wipes, flash wipes. I think these were a pound. So you get 60 wipes in there, so I picked up those. And I've shown these before, it's a staple buy. It's sort of like um, forehead, they call it. And it's a just, it's like a little balm you put on your head, sort of a bit like tiger balm to help you if you've got a headache. So I picked up another one of those. I have loads of these already, but I just wanted to get another one just in case you can't get them straight after Christmas. So again, £1.29, I think that was. And the last thing in that bag was this. I purchased the soda crystals. These are amazing. If you have like, um, you know, smelly sinks or drains or whatever, you can put like, I'm a bit generous, I put the whole bag down and then leave it for a minute, cat full of sephora and then boiling hot water and it is just, it works miracles. I highly recommend this, but you can use this for laundry aid and also for cleaning. So I picked up a bag of that and it was only 69p, so I got one of those. I think that's everything from, yeah, that's everything from, yeah, from Home Bargains. And we nipped into Asda. Now, I'm normally done with my niece buying her Christmas presents now. I haven't even started until I went into Asda. So she's loving this whole slime situation at the moment that all the young kids now are like just obsessing over. So I picked her up this unicorn slime. It's Unicorn poo and slime. So you've got both of the pots of slime there. And then you've got this cute little unicorn thing that you can play with it. And this was, I think, only like two, three pounds. So that'll be nice as a little stocking filler for her. So I got her one of those. I also got this. Now I have no idea, oh, no idea what these things are, but I picked this up. And this is the Make Your Own Slime Nickelodeon one in the colour pink. This was three pounds, no, 2 dollars this was, because it was a rollback price. So yeah, it shows you how to do it all there. Like I say, I have no idea how you do it, but I just picked it up anyway. And then I also got this extra little stocking presents. This is like the twisty coloured slime. This is in their like party bag range in there, like, you know, your normal everyday birthday stuff. But I just picked up one of those. And then I just picked up two more of these unicorn poo things because she is obsessed, obsessed with unicorns. So I got her those bits as well. And then I've just picked up some tongs from Tesco now. These um, were 
three pounds possibly at Tesco's. But I picked these up only because the ones I brought from Ikea that I've done in a previous haul, I wasn't overly keen on them. So I just picked up the standard traditional tongs. There must be a tong so uh, shortage everywhere because there was none apart from Tesco. So I just picked up a pack of those. And then I also got these mini sachets of Cadbury's Highlight Hot Chocolate and options, different flavours, because this is for a make and do Christmas present for a friend. So I just got those. I got them in the Fudge, the Bourneville, and the Belgian Mint Hot Chocolate. So I hope she likes those to go in with her make and do present. Also at Tesco's, I just picked up some little token gifts for customers at my work. Um, they had the quality street boxes for half price, so these were 125 I think. And then the Maynard's wine gums as well, they were half price, 125 Don't count me on that, I think it was 125 and 150 so I just picked up both of those to give to two customers of mine at Christmas. It's just a little present. And what else did I get? I also got the last thing I want to show you guys. Oh, hang on. Is that one here? Yeah. So I got this from Sainsbury's. I forgot we nipped in there. And I got the thick bleach in the winter spice. So I'm like so excited to try that. So I picked up that. I think it was like 50p or something silly. So I got that. Then I also picked up from Home Bargains quickly that I've just totally forgot about. This stunning nutcracker. I was obsessed. There were so many different ones to choose from. And my friend Claire was like uh, narrowing it down for me by colour. So yeah, I just saw this one. He's deep blue with gold. Beautiful. I just love him so much. And my friend sent me a picture of this one last week before we went in. And um, I just fell in love with the blue. Just the blue and the gold together just looks so nice. And um, he was, I think, $6.99, 6 or $7.99. So, yeah, I just love that one. And I wanted a different colour to the reds and the golds that I've already got. I've got over here, like, reds, dark green, stuff like that. And when I just saw the blue and the gold together, and he was a bit taller than the ones I've got, I just loved it. So I had to grab him. So I'll just pop him back. And the final, final thing I got, which was an absolute bargain was um, something for the kitchen. I've been looking for something like this for ages and I've been saying I want to get one. And this, that and the other came along and I just had to get other things, but this was on sale. Now it's Asda's own range, it's their own brand, but it's the compact slow cooker. Now this is a small one, it's only the 1.8. This was rolled back to eight pounds so if you live on your own and you want you know you work full time and you just want to pop this in the crock pot before you go to work or do it the night before and then you can just come home and uh, dish up your casseroles and things like that I picked up this for eight pounds it's so easy to do apparently I haven't done it yet but when I lived at home with my nan and granddad they used to do it all the time and she made it look so easy so yeah you can just go online and find recipes and stuff but for eight pounds my friend said to me just grab it so I did and it was the last one in our store but highly recommend these if you live on your own because it's just easy to have it cooking slow all day and then you can just come home and plate it up. So that was everything from this haul. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for my new followers on Instagram. So I've had quite a few uh, new followers. So thank you so much and until next time, I'll see you soon.